Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Ellie from Dista. In this video, we are going to talk about some topics about 4G SIP phone. First, what is a 4G SIP phone? In this part, we are going to talk about the main functions of the 4G SIP phone. Second, we will show the network topology diagram of 4G SIP phone and the various scenarios about 4G SIP phone. At last, you are going to know how to connect and configure the RP firm with RPBX. 4G SIP phone, literally, is an advanced SIP phone with embedded 4G LTE modular, which is applied to 4G environment and support both standard SIP protocol and carrier VoT. And this 4G SIP phone, C60UT, is an entry-level IP firm with 2.3-inch pixel graphical LCD with backlight. Supported 4G network access, PoE, EHS wireless handset, and 5-way conference. If you want to know more details about our product, please visit our website. In this part, you will know how does 4G SIP phone works. 4G SIP phone can readjust to any public RPBX or SIP servers. This enables the conversations with other extensions. In this video, the 4G SIP phone will communicate with the extensions on the main network. But the environment for 4G SIP phones is much more than that. Our Dista 4G SIP phone can handle calls in a variety of environments, including office phone system, call centers, reception areas, healthcare, and so on. Before connecting on a configured phone with IPvX, you need to access the web GUI of the 4G SIP phone. And you can access the web interface through two ways. The first is access the web interface through the LAN port. The second is access the web interface through the NMS network management system, but it's not available through the LAN port. For the first way, you just need to press the OK key on the IP phone, check the IP address of the phone, enter the IP address in the web browser, and then enter the right username and password. But if you need to access the web interface through 4G network, first, you need to access the DINSTAR network management system and add the 4G SIP firms to the NMS Please go to device and click add. Enter the right device name and the serial number and choose the site. Then click submit. Next, you need to access the web interface of RP phone through the LAN port and configure the right NMS server parameters. Please go to network and NMS, enable it and enter the right server address and server port. Choose interface as adaptive. After that, Please restore device to take effects. When you are done with these steps, you can see the running status of the 4G SIP phone is online. Click web and you can access the web interface of the 4G SIP phone when the network cable is removed. For connecting and configuring the RP phone with RPPX, there are a few steps. The first step is creating a new extension. The second step is registering the RP phone to RPBX. First, please access the web interface of RPBX. Please go to extension, SIP, and new, and enter the right parameters like extension and password. Then save it and apply it. And then, please access the web interface of RPFM. Enable the SIP account, enter the right register name, username, and password and enter the IP address and port of the SIP server, then save the settings. If the IP phone is registered, you can call the other extensions that are registered to the IPBX. OK, the basic configuration is done. If you want to get more details, please contact official technical support. In this video, I talk about some topics about 4G SIP phone. You may know something about it or still confused. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or contact our technical guy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.